Kiki, did you have a good nap? So I put the carpet in my 55 hard top today and uh, she's taking it upon herself to find her a little bed there. <laughs> Done tracked up stuff in my carpet after I vacuumed it. That's okay. I knew it was going to get dirty because I'm still working on the car anyway, but Anyway, guys, I have, uh, it's been pretty much two days working on this carpet set, and it has been a mess, uh, but I got it pretty much done. There's a couple little areas that I'm not happy with, but I think in time, when the car gets heat inside of it, it'll end up laying down. Anyway, I just put a few things on uh, hand tight to check stuff out, but anyway, so this is the one-piece molded uh, carpet set cut pile. And then I got the cut pile matching floor mats with the embroidered crests uh, up here in the front. I didn't put them in the rear. just thought that would have been too much. Anyway, I got uh, accessory gas pedal cover on. This was an accessory right out of the little book. And uh, it's another one of those optional things that I wanted on my car to go with all the other stuff. I always like these things. This is probably only like the third one I've ever put in one, though. Uh, and then over here, I don't know if you can see it. I've got a dimmer switch cover here, and uh, that thing's pretty awesome. Now, that wasn't really for a 55. That was, I think, it's like 40s maybe or 50s Chevy car. Uh, but what is cool is it fits the dimmer switch perfectly. It's very hard to get on, and it's very hard to get off. So it's not like it's going to just fall off there. But anyway, it kind of complements the floor pretty good. It complements the gas pedal cover, although that kind of looks like a battleship gun sight from World War II. And this looks like the uh, grid uh, from a sonar or radar. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. But they kind of match, so we'll go with that. Uh, the thing for me is I didn't want a bright silver CAD plated uh, dimmer switch uh, shining off of that black carpet. So just a nice little cover for that. I got the thing off eBay like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. And uh, I didn't even know if it would work on my dimmer switch, but it ended up fitting it was kind of shot in the dark but i think like last year i seen one of the tri-5 catalogs i can't remember which one it was but now they sell those in there so uh, they do fit anyway i did put the uh, little plastic or rubber uh, trim piece around the carpet here for the dimmer that comes with the carpet set but man let me tell you uh, other than a couple little still raised spots in the carpet i'm pretty happy with it turned out pretty good it was a lot of work. I had to do a lot of fill-in work on the bottom of the carpet. Um, you know, there's just a little strip of jute across the front and a strip across the back. So there's nothing in the centers and on the sides. So I had to pretty much build it all. Uh, now on the sides up in here, I used remnants from the carpet. I did a video yesterday about that. Uh, but up here, when I got to the tranny tunnel, um, I ended up getting in my attic and I had some old jute pieces from... Uh, like old G bodies and uh, stuff like that. And uh, I got some out and cut them to pieces and used it to work. So basically I had to build up that whole center because you just have jute back here and jute up there. Uh, now, which I've got my original bench seat going in here. You wouldn't see that low spot between the jute pads, but if you had bucket seats just running a stick shift in the floor and that was all open, it looked like crap. So, I went ahead and uh, leveled mine out with uh, some jute, but I think this set was actually for a sedan. Uh, it was not molded for a hard top floor because they have this extra brace here. And uh, I ended up, that's where I run into a lot of trouble. I ended up having to slice it up here and down in and then tuck this piece under that one uh, to get it to fit because it was bunched up bad here. Uh, now I'm going to spray glue uh, this. I'm going to spray through the front and the top of this brace, that carpet, over it like that. So it'll end up uh, fitting in there pretty good, and then I'll be able to tuck that in a lot tighter. But anyway, the seat, you know, it does stick off a little bit from that, so it'll end up looking really nice. So I put one of my sliders in here for the seat, uh, bolted it down just to kind of see how it bunched up the carpet, and uh, it didn't do anything. It just did it a little bit right here, but you're not going to see it because it's under the seat. Uh, so that's that's pretty nice. I probably ought to check the other side as well because I may have to use the heat gun over there. 
I cannot believe how much I use my heat gun in here. Uh, word to the wise, don't buy a carpet kit and leave it in the box for six or seven years. That's not a good idea. And uh, You know, and me being in the wintertime with snow and rain and cloudiness, I can't throw it out in the sun let it heat up. You know, I had to basically do it all with a heat gun. And I still didn't get it all out because I'm a little nervous of staying in a spot too long and maybe melting the fibers. But it's still got a few high spots. Like there's just a little spot right here and then right in through here. And then I got a little row right here. Uh, but I think when the car gets a lot of heat in it in this, this spring and summer, you know, with the doors closed and the windows up outside, it'll lay down. So I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, I thought I'd run you through my seatbelt setup here. Uh, this is from, I bought this seven or eight years ago too. This is Giuliani's or Giuliano's street rod parts, I think, but they have a line of seatbelts. And I think they make them. I'm not 100%, but I think they do make them. But I got to choose what button I wanted, what style of fastener system I wanted, and everything. Uh, they have lots of colors to choose from as well. They are not a sponsor. I actually bought these, uh, but the quality is pretty nice. Uh, I went with the black GM logo, and I went with the... It's a little bit later than what 55 could have had. You know, the, what you see a lot in, in these old cars is them really big, wide ones. And uh, I never did care for, care for those uh, buckles. I like these. They're really fast, and they're small. They're not as bulky for me. Just me, just personal preference. Uh, but anyway, that's what I went with. And then I went with a retractor system uh, on this side. Uh, before I have run... Uh, you know, the two that are like this, then you undo them and then you get out of the car and the, the dang buckle comes out here and slaps your paint on your rocker and chips it or scratches it. So I'm with a retractor for this car and uh, I mocked all this up when I had the seat bottom in here and everything. But um, anyway, they come with little 90 degree brackets that you basically bolt down or weld to the floor. But to me, they were a little too thin of metal. So I ended up like doubling up the size thickness of the metal and I've done a 90 degree bracket and welded it to the floor. It's about, I don't know, like two inches long or two and a half inches long, the part that goes to the floor. And I drilled two big, I think there were three eighths holes in it. And I plug welded those and then I fully perimeter welded it. So it is stuck to the floor pretty nice. But uh, anyway, I pulled these out of the box today and I noticed the finish on this is not very good. It has some scuffs looks like in it. I don't feel it, but you can sure see it. This just looks kind of whitish gray, uh, like it's faded or, but they've been in a box. So I'm going to end up taking a, a gray scotch bright and lightly scuffing these down. I'm going to uh, wax and grease remover them and then tack them off. And I'm going to spray them with some uh, Sim Landau black in the spray can. That is a pretty good plastic paint if you've never used it. They're Landau black. It's not glossy and it's not flat either. It's like just the perfect shade and it looks like plastic. Uh, when it's done, so I'm gonna end up reshooting these because I'm just not happy with that. But uh, you know, I got it attached with it's not tight, it's just finger tight. But I got a 12 point ARP in there and a 12 point ARP nut on the back side. Now, what I did on the center ones, uh, these here that go up in here, normally you'd drill a hole in your floor and put an anchor on the back side that has the nut on it, and uh, I didn't want that under my car. So, what I did was what a lot of late model cars are done where this is actually mounted to the seat itself. So this will basically go between, you know, across the seat bottom, underneath the top, curl all the way down and under. And I had in the seat bottom, when I tore it all down and blasted it, I put in a thick piece of plate, uh, rectangle shaped. I drilled a big hole in it uh, for the bolt and the nut. And uh, then I did two holes in it, and I plug welded it to the frame, and then I perimeter welded it. So this will actually bolt to the seat frame uh, and come out and under the seat. Uh, so that way, just didn't have anything under the car. Now I did want, uh, I would like to have three-point belts because they're, you know, they're a lot safer, obviously. Uh, but in a hard top, I just didn't want to ruin my side profile lines of the car. Uh, so I'll just go with laptop or lap belts and uh you know just go for if anything ever happens i'll go for the no teeth in my head anymore uh thing but <laughs> i am going to put uh probably the same company i will contact them when the time comes in the future when i'm working on the four-door for my wife i will put three-point belts in that car because it is a sedan 
and it does have a B pillar, so I'll be able to, you know, weld stuff in there and make it actually really safe for her. Uh, but as far as this car, I just couldn't do three points in it. Just it would bug me to have a seat belt right here. Um, anyway, so carpet's in, pretty much done. I'm pretty much happy with it. It could use a little more heat, and uh, of course, I got to do a little spray glue in the back. I decided not to put the uh, sill covers on, uh, sill plates on yet uh, because I am in and out of the car and these actual covers uh, that are these uh, you know wire covers top of rocker covers or whatever they do have notches at the front and the back for your wind lace so I may have to remove these to put my wind lace in and I may actually try to put the wind lace in tomorrow I have those that are pre-done from Ciadella so uh, anyway I may go ahead and try to pop those in and tuck those under. I think it'd be easier to go ahead and put the those in and then put these back on. It's just a few screws, so uh, that's probably what I'll do. But anyway, guys, that's it. Carpet's in. Pretty happy with it. It's coming along. There's only, I think, uh, 1,482 things left to do.